Hello, I'm Justin Nepper. I'm the downtown manager here in Sault Ste. Marie. Uh, we're the oldest city in Michigan, home to 15,000 people, home to a wide variety of artists here in the Sioux. But one of the things we're lacking is public art. We actually have a few sculptures, we have a few um, outdoor murals here and there, but we are really lacking that cohesive uh, celebration of our, of our community. Uh, we've chosen four mural locations in partnership with four downtown property owners. Well, for my business, the, the building is old, um, 1926. So it needs some sprucing up. I think this will, along with brightening up the downtown local area, it will also be a real asset to my business. My goal for this project is to, to bring a kind of a visual unity for Lake Superior State University and Sault Ste. Marie. And uh, so the mural bridges a lot of the imagery and also I want it to be more vibrant, kind of show a little of the vitality that the university is kind of a, uh, fostering nowadays. Because that wall is facing the locks, I think it's the perfect place. We are 1668 winery and we try to tie in with the history, so the first thing on my mind was to do a mural and tie in uh, Father Marquette and his arrival on the St. Mary's River as that ties into 1668. But this is important to us because we feel we can make an impact by painting Father Marquette coming into the Sioux. It can be something that will last for years and years to come, uh, and it helps us preserve our heritage. Uh, we're also gearing up for the 350th anniversary of the Sioux in two years, and thought this would make an excellent addition to that fest those festivities. For the community, it will show our interest and our support in the early American history in the Sault Ste. Marie area and to carry it on to our next generations. This mural is one of uh, the most interesting ones out of the four that we're doing because we don't know what it is yet. And the outside of this wall was a mural at one point over 50 years ago. No one remembers what it was. It was uh, like the grandfather of the current owners. And they were just children when they saw the mural and uh, got tired, of, somebody got tired of it. They covered up with this old plywood siding. So the whole plan for this wall is the whole thing will be um, cleaned up, taken down to the, uh, to the brick and plaster. And the upper portion, you can just barely see, has some mural. We've, we've heard some uh, discussion that it might be a canoe or something like that, but it's gonna be a surprise mural and your funding will go towards supporting rehabbing this wall and bringing that mural back to life. And we're cleaning up a lot of buildings and we'll give people something to look at when they come to town. It's, it's gonna be fun. One of the biggest things that you can do to help support this project, we'll only have 30 days to raise a 50% matching grant and we've been awarded a 50% match from the state. Our total goal is $32,000. That's gonna take care of re rehabbing the walls, preparing the surfaces for the murals, and, uh, and paying the artists, the local Michigan artists that we're hiring to do the work. And our portion will be just $16,000. Your pledge of anywhere from $1 to $10,000 will go, go for uh, helping us raise that goal of $16,000. You pledge with your credit card or debit card online, you won't be charged unless we reach our goal of $16,000. The only way that we're able to have this project happen is with the support of the Michigan Economic Development Corporation. They've been a huge partner in Sault Ste. Marie. We ask that you pledge and then share with your friends, your family, and your acquaintances across the state, across the nation, to help us reach our goal of $16,000.